Hey now, we're live. We're live. It's Omni Bros Live, and I am your host for the night, Omni Dog, who just found out some college roommates of his have infiltrated his YouTube channel and are trashing it and making fun of me left and right. These are guys (laughs) I knew 35 years ago. They're calling me all kinds of names, asking if I have pants on during the video. (laughs) <laughs> who these hum- what those Hummel figures are behind me, and why is a grown man collecting those? And <laughs> it's you know, these, a real are, these are very similar thing. questions that Gabe and I ask you, though. To be fair, <laughs> are you wearing pants? That's right. I mean, really? Man. Well, he's not wearing pants. We all know that. <laughs> That's the season cliffhanger there. They're short. And we have because they're shorts. They're shorts. I'm wearing jorts. Sorry. We have uh, a drunk Omar from in near in from. Uh, you, I'm not drunk. drunk but Omar is in near are, you sure? are you sure I'm the one that's drunk? <laughs> uh, just, just talk pretty one day. Um, yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, this is Omar from Near Mint Condition. Thank you guys for having me on tonight. Thank you for being uh, on. You guys were scraping the bottom of the barrel when you called. Throughout the bat signal, so I'm drinking Bud Light. Oh. How about scraping the bottom of the barrel? Shit. Yeah. Oof. And to give you a hint as to what Gabe's been up to, he's snorting practically Oreos and making his own pizza, swishing the tomato sauce in his mouth, eating Oreos. What's he been up to? Somebody's had some wacky tobacco. He's pregnant. <laughs> it's Gabe Infinity Watch. Oh. Uh. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, I got a uh, big old stack of Oreos here. I'm just stacking them like poker chips. That's right. The black ones are always the best ones. Those are usually like hundred dollar chips. So this is like a this is a, this chip right here is enough to buy Fox. Do you think that you're eating real chips? Is that how fucked up you are right now? <laughs> no, I'm talking about <laughs> poker chips being worth money. These chips are delicious. <laughs> I'm eating dollar bills. This one I could buy Warner Brothers. Wow, that's low, man. Hey, you know what? You might be able to buy a Star Wars franchise after this movie. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if any of these people are going to start regretting those tattoos they got. <laughs> Last Jedi. Last Jedi bust. Bust. Okay, why are we out here? Good question. You, Gabe, Gabe, is your YouTube on? You got it on mute? I don't have it up. Well. Okay. Fuck the chat. I'm not even looking at it today. <laughs> no fucks given. <laughs> by, by the way, I listened to the episode you two guys did on Thursday t- today when I was flying. And one of my favorite things is both of you are completely oblivious to the whole manga world. You're like, ah, oh, what's that one basketball fucking shit that Riley reads? <laughs> Akira. <laughs> yeah, Gabe and I—you do not want to get the two of us in a manga discussion. I was like, "Come on, guys, you almost got it." You <laughs> trying to talk sports around me? Slam dunk. Come on, guys. You got it. Skills. <laughs> All right, what are we talking about, guys? Halls. We're talking about halls, what we read, and then previews for this coming week. I got so, a good one, nothing, and something else. Okay, well, let's catch you while your buzz is still going. Go for it. <laughs> okay. What um, what's that? Uh, what's that one book about? About Dick? Slam Dunk. Yeah. No, no, wait. It's a whale move. A whale book. Movie about Moby Dick. Oh. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this pretty bitch. Who 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 hooked you up with that? Um, my boy Eric out here. You remember Eric? Yeah, I sure do. I was part of that chat when he was telling you, "Hey, man, I picked this up for you." <laughs> oh, <was> awesome. <laughs> I must have forgot that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Silver Surfer. This is badass. It's not bad for something that's only like nineteen issues. There's not much in it. But it's John Basema and that other fucker who sucks who wrote it. 
Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Howard Mackey? Who are we no. talking about? No, fuck Stan Lee. That's what I'm saying. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, this is cool. I like. Where the, did you uh, get it? What's that? Where did you get it? A couple days ago. So what, why aren't you like doing flips and shit? That was like your number one grail, wasn't it? Yeah, but I threw out my back playing with my kids, so I can't really do backflips anymore. Oh, okay. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry, dude. What yeah. He's high as a kite. <laughs> okay, what's my... Getting old sucks. I'm as high as Silver Surfer up here in the Galactic Spaceways. Did they, that did that have two cover covers like the original cover? Yeah, it has. It's supposed to. Yeah, there's a version that has the original cover. That's what has, I thought. Yeah, the the DM. Jacket, I but, assume the correct market version. Yeah, but you know, uh, I got this for like a, hundred, a little over a hundred bucks, so that's a lot better than trying to pay four hundred for the other version. But even these oh, ones are like four hundred. Like this is a good deal. Yeah, that's awesome, man! Congratulations. Yeah, I love congratulations. It. Love when people get whales and grails. That's that makes me happy. Now I just need to get a astonishing X Men. Oh, that's that's that, that's easier to find. I'll find. I'll be looking out for you, man. Because then I can die happy behind a dumpster if I get that one. <laughs> wow, you, you your, don't know how close you are to that right now. Right, you set your bar really low, don't you? <laughs> so that was your haul. Okay? Yeah, that's, my haul. that's all you hauled. That's all I hauled. I'm sorry it wasn't half No, it, that's a cool haul. Oh, that's okay. a way cool haul. Yeah, that's where all your money went, man. That's cool. Yeah, um, very nice. Jess, what do you got, like 50 books? Yeah. Did you, did you, get, did you buy First, a warehouse again? <laughs> uh, it's pretty good for me. I didn't get that much. First thing I got I wanted to show, Happy oh. Christmas Beetle People. This is all the Beatles uh, fan club albums that they sent out to their fans back in 63 through 1969 and it got reissued onto 45s that are all colored vinyl that's cool i love those guys mm -hmm. TV show. <laughs> i think you're thinking of so the they're one. all these the, the davy jones right we're talking about J davy jones yeah, that, guy, that guy that band oh my <laughs> god shut your whore mouth <laughs> That's really cool, dude. Is that are you part of a fan club or did you get this at like FYE? No, I got it from uh, I got it from a record company overseas, like in England. So the first one's white. Ah, the white album. Okay. The first year they put it out, and they got a bunch of other stuff. Um, so that was the first cool thing I got. The other cool thing I got, I'll show this real quick. Monero Rodic. Number two. I just did that real quick. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people up. to know that I actually had it. <laughs> That's part of my haul because of you. <laughs> I know. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Which is not hard to find, but I needed it because I got one and three. Um, I saw, I can't think of who it was on the group page, <laughs> but somebody was recommending this book. The Spire by Cy Spurrier. Um, I like Cy it got a lot. Of, yeah, it got a lot of review. Good uh, people talking about it, and it was cheap on Amazon. So I thought I'd go ahead and get it. Uh, so I got that. Then I got Bitch Planet Triple Feature, which I like Bitch Planet. So this was good to know. I didn't even know this was coming out. Those are mini series. Is that what those are? Yeah, I think it's three three mini series. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five mini series. Oh, yeah. Mini whatever. Gotcha. Mini thingies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I saw that Mark Wade was writing Champions, so I thought I'd try that. I like that book. I think it's, I okay, think good. Maybe you recommended it. Maybe I got it on your recommendation. This has some pretty spiffy art in it, too. You mean Omar, the same guy I told you to buy Justice League of America, and he didn't? <laughs> I, I don't uh, think I recommended it. I said, hey, I may buy this. I, yeah. 
<laughs> he didn't, he actually said he owned and liked Champion, so I knew I yeah. could buy that. I like that book. Yes, that's good. Uh, this is the next volume in the Lobster Johnson saga, volume five. It's little Hellboy. Lo- Lobster Johnson Spin-off. always reminds me of my one of my best friends, Chris. Like I had no idea who Lobster Johnson was. Uh, probably like I don't know, fifteen years ago, and he's always liked this character. And I'm like, who the hell are you talking about? He's like, dude, you need to read Hellboy. And I had read Hellboy, but I don't remember the character. And I, anyway, I ended up reading it, and I, I love the character of Lobster Johnson now. But it always reminds me of a buddy Chris and me busting his balls about this lame character named Lobster Johnson. That's a great story. Okay, and then we have Lady Killer, Volume Two, which is a great book. Love this book. And then Champions. Oh, that was Champions Volume Two. <laughs> this is Champions Volume One. So I got Champions One and Two. Then Trinity. I don't think this is supposed to be that great. Rebirth, but I got it anyway because I like Wonder Woman and Batman and Superman. Now I know this is good. Astro City, the latest yeah. one. Is that the latest one? I'm so far behind. Ordinary. Jack in the Box or whatever his name is taking a whiz on the cover. It's Pennywise. Pennywise. Um, I happen to like this guy's run on Guardians of the Galaxy. Some people do not. This is Bendis' run, volume four. Well, this conversation's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I also got, really looking forward to this one, Thor volume two of Jane Foster Thor. I have no idea what about anything going on in this book. <laughs> so it's all going to be a big surprise to me. I know I love Volume 1. And then Black Science Volume 2. haven't opened it. I don't know anything about the binding, so shut up and leave me alone, everybody. The binding is... <laughs> Damn, I'm hostile, man. Was there a variant cover to that? Was there a DCBS cover to that one, too? Yeah, this is it. This is the DCBS variant right here. Reminds me of Space Ace. Remember that video game? Yep. I do not know. Probably does. Same guys that did Dragon Slayer. Yep. Mm. It was a laser disc. And that is uh, Omni Dogs Hall. <laughs> well, okay. Well, uh, I'm traveling this week, so I, I didn't bring my halls with me. Uh, <clears throat> Are you? Do you like doing the show or not? You didn't bring your hauls. That's what I got hauls. Wow, guys! I was around with you. I was flying. I wasn't like I. I love doing the show. I didn't know I was going to be called out. Otherwise, I would have fucking melded here. All right. Um, <laughs> you so hear me that next time, motherfucker. Wait, wait. I actually went out to the local comic book stores here and and got some stuff. Ooh. Um, so I, I picked up a couple of things. I picked up uh, Street Fighter Cami, which none of you read, and <laughs> probably good. That you don't, because it's oh, it's the uh, it's the fighter with the camel toe. It's okay. uh, you know, the story is uh, really lame. This is more, you know, just fan servers for people that enjoy the video game Street Fighter and camel toes uh, and lovely ladies with camel toes. <laughs> Speaking of camel toes, I got a package in from um, Jess. And I, <laughs> oh, I you're gonna say Saudi Arabia and be full of camel toes. Wait, okay, so we're not gonna show it, but and then I also picked up um, before we talk about that uh, this new manga, The Promised Neverland, which I've been wanting to read. It just came out in October, um, and I'm really even legal to have in America. What are you talking about? Look how young those <laughs> kids are. You know, there's tentacle rape in there. We're not talking about Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. We're talking about The Promised Neverland. <laughs> And I haven't gotten to the actual twist yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Is any, um, is this, you said this was Neverland Ranch? So, you have the Monara hardcovers, right? Jess, you, you no. mentioned you did. Oh. Um, not Jess. And you also, <laughs> you, have you read them? I read Volume 1 when I had, yeah. That's all I had had for a long time, so I read Volume 1. Well, I started reading it, and I, I get it because I love the artwork. Monara, to me, draws 
some of the most beautiful women. Yeah. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I, f- I find a story really, how do I say it? Uh, um, really smut. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. it is right down dirty. And, and as a matter of fact, they left hey. out two pages of the original run. Because like, like, apparently it was too graphic. As in, wait. like, wait, these Minara books have stories in them? Yeah, and it's kind of dialogue Wait, heavy. It's not it just not. a bunch of like naked chick drawings of them like, sitting on like coat hangers made out of dildos or the something. Fir- the first, like the first story, is like I don't know, hundred and some pages of this girl that, like, this guy has a remote control to make. It's called Click that he can make her have sex at any random time. It's called rape. Well, hold on, <laughs> but that's the <laughs> thing. They wrote a thing on there where they were like, yeah, you know, this story's kind of messed up and stuff, but. We decided to leave out two other pages that were more messed up than the shit you're reading right now. So I'm curious as to what they decided to leave out. They were like, it was considered okay back in the 60s, but now, not so much. <laughs> so anyway, that that's my haul in my two cents about Minara. But I'm excited to yeah. get volume two. I found uh, volume one for you, which is hard to find in hardcover. Yeah, I really appreciated that. The same place that I found it, I was able to get us both uh, volume three, which is impossible uh, to find too now. Yeah, all of a sudden it's hard to find, so we lucked out there. Um, but yeah, it's a book that's is uh, deep, deeply hidden in the unfinished part of my basement, box <laughs> upon box. It's only going to be discovered upon my death, so I won't mind. Um, no, you gotta have a porn buddy. Your porn buddy comes <laughs> to your house and burns your shit before anybody finds out what kind of. Oh, that's good thinking. You gotta bond, man. That, you go is that you keep your, your cross comics too, Jess? Is that where you keep the crust? Uh, it's in a box right next to my crust. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how to take that. So. <laughs> take it as you want. <laughs> yeah, no, I have a cross hidden from my wife and daughter as well. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's pretty uh it's uh shockingly racing. <laughs> oh man, dude, it's funny the chat's like I read a Minara story where the woman did a donkey. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I believe it. I haven't come upon that story yet. Maybe it's uh Is that the golden ass? I can't remember. I haven't read that one yet. But remember, man. Porn buddy, that's the key to life. <laughs> something, something horrible happens to you. Your wife and kids don't need to know the shit you were into. Get that motherfucker over to your house and burn that stuff up. I that is a great idea. I can't believe I've lived this long and never uh, knew about that. I have a friend I'm of back. mine. We have a true. Oh, we didn't know you were gone, man. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, what did you guys read? I read quite a few things that. Go ahead. You start it, Omar. Uh, well, I, wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm going to go first. Sure. Go for it. Go ahead. Go for it, Gabe. Nothing. There, done. Your turn, Omar. You didn't read anything? You work at a comic book store. How are you going to guide people into getting things? I tell them not to buy the shit that's out today and have them buy Silver Age CGC books instead. <laughs> if you've got a couple thousand dollars laying around by yourself, Fantastic <laughs> Four number one is going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> Rebirth? No, that's bullshit. It's over <laughs> age. Um, so I told you guys I read Claws, right? And yeah. my, my wife read it, loved it. And now oh, my good. my eight year old daughter is reading it. She's already like two thirds of the way done. That's awesome. <sighs> and somebody was asking me if it was okay for your eight year old to read. Now my, you know, that's my eight year old. Might be a lot different than most kids, uh, though. Uh, so. It's violence and stuff like that. She she know like she's got a pretty good head. She's a lot like I was when I was her age. Like I was watching horror movies and things like that growing up. So um, I think is about the only thing in Claws that is really the violence, and that's it. I mean, there's no you know sex or anything like that, anything weird in it. Um, and then I read Joe the Bear. What's that, man? I said weird sex is the best sex. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> okay. 
uh, and I read uh, Joe the Barbarian because I was on a Grant Morrison kick, and nice. I had not I had not read that one before. I loved it. I thought it was good. Uh, Sean Murphy's art was beautiful in it, and you know I really like the take on the story. Like, have have you read it, Gabe? What are we talking about? Joe the Barbarian is a. Oh, I love Joe the Barbarian. You liked it? Okay. Cool. I love it, man. Yeah, poor little kid with diabetes and all those cool Transformer toys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's cool because like he starts tripping right because he needs his uh, glucose, like he needs to take his insulin or no, I'm sorry, not insulin, he needs his sugar because his uh, blood sugar is low. So he's That's having all, um, his um, thanks, Doctor Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> So he's having all these hallucinations and stuff about what's real, <laughs> and you know, well, what's real and what's not. And he goes into this fantasy world, or does he really? I, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, and then I, I finished. What else did I end up reading? Yeah, that book. Loved it. Thank you, thank you. It's a great book. Uh, and I started to read uh, Spaceman. Did you guys read that? Azarello and Rizzo's. I had a hard time with that book. Uh, I'm only the first. I'm only like about thirty pages in. It's a lot different than most of the stuff that they've worked on together. That's for sure. Yeah, I had a very difficult time enjoying that book. I uh, I found it for seven dollars, so I figured, eh, you know, if it sucks, oh well. At least yeah. it's got good artwork, right? I mean, that's why I have those Monaro books. <laughs> Not for the <laughs> stories. I read the articles in Playboy magazines. Right. Okay. Uh, I read Thanos Returns. You read this, Gabe? It's awesome. <laughs> Sorry for getting in the way of your snack time. Is that the new uh, Lemire this, book? Yeah. Uh, then I downloaded 7 through 13. I read 7 through 12, which is Lemire. And then I read 13, which is Donnie Cates, because Riley recommended it so highly. And that was a kick-ass book. Was and it? Okay. Yeah, I liked I It was just the first issue of a, you know, a big arc, but I really liked it a lot. It was really interesting. Um, and I liked all, all of Jeff Lemire's stuff. It was, it was uh, I don't know, I, I, I know Thanos. I know enough about him and his family and what's going on so that I could just drop in and read it. Um, I'm I'm not as much a Thanos expert as Gabe is, but I did enjoy this book uh, a lot. You know, just because the guy has a tattoo of Thanos on his arm does not make him an expert. (laughs) No, Um, he has an Infinity Gauntlet, too. That $10 Infinity Gauntlet. Is that a piggy bank? (laughs) It's a phone one from San Diego. Oh, okay, never mind. Piggy bank my penis hole. I take back what I said. <laughs> and then I take off. Then I, read it, off it. <laughs> then I take it off. Oh, there's a fucking another one. That's what makes me the expert. I know, but never mind. <laughs> then I read volumes uh, one, two, and three of uh, Deathstroke Rebirth. Which was great. I'm not a Deathstroke fan at all. Never read Dex- Deathstroke before, but uh, this was solid by Chris Priest. Yeah, Christopher uh, Christopher. Blah, fuck now, the alcohol's coming out. Christopher <laughs> Priest run. That's a solid run. I'll dug it too, man. I, I went through a binge of that a couple months ago. Yeah, uh, I can I see know, why people like it so much. I don't know if he's on the book anymore though, because he's moving on to Justice League. Hey, we actually get a decent right. writer on Justice League. Right, maybe you'll buy it then. I you can just make it volume. Let's see. One, I read volumes one through four. Bring me a beer or two. Oh, beer. How are those? I read the oh, first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gabe, are you part of this show? No, I was trying to tell Omar to bring me a beer, but he didn't have his headphones on, so he never heard me. <laughs> oh. Man, you don't want Bud Light. <laughs> no, I don't. Thank you. But I was uh, drinking whiskey earlier, so I got to take it down a notch because this show, I got to be professional. You know, talking about my Minara smut. <laughs> yeah, professional like the rest of us, right? Right. All right, Jess. 
Show us up. <laughs> show us. Show me some inside artwork of that Green Arrow, if you don't okay. mind. Okay. Because I really like that cover of Green uh, Green Arrow and Black Canary. Yeah, here it is, right here. Um, Speedy shows back up. Uh, his name's Speedy. Arsenal now, not Speedy. Right. Red Arrow is in the book too. Years. And yeah, I dig that. Black Canary kicking ass. Still holding so, yeah, out for a hardcover book. Life. I don't blame you. I'm hope. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And it's one of the best uh, Rebirth titles, and it doesn't have a hardcover. Yeah, it is great. It's like the best Rebirth title not to have a hardcover. Um, then I uh, got a challenge from one of my viewers. Um, Katsudon305 said that I had to read Red Hood and the Outlaws. If I didn't like it, I could pour root beer on it. There will be no root beer poured on Red Hood and the Outlaws. This book was rockin'. Really? I love this book. Yes. It was great. The Outlaws of Bizarro and Artemis from uh, Themyscira. And, <laughs> I mean, what an unlikely grouping this is. But I loved it. These guys worked great together, and I just dug the hell out of it. It was some kind of good read. I can't mm -hmm. wait for volume two. And I don't know how the same writer botched up the writing so bad in New 52, but he he figured it out. He saw what he did wrong and figured it out because Rebirth, this is a great book. I highly recommend this book. I really enjoyed the heck out of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a shocker, man. I, like I said, I, I wasn't expecting you to like that because I mean, his New 52 run was okay. It wasn't as terrible as some people think it was. I just remember he over-sexualized Starfire. Um, it, it was weird. It was a weird take on the character. Uh, mm. I have. That's why I haven't read any of the Rebirth stuff. Um, Mark Wolfman over-sexualized her. Um, I think you'd love this, though, Mark. This is great. This really? Is really great. I, I, I'm, I like Dexter Vines. That's the guy that does the art, so I'm definitely going to check it out. Wait, he does the pencils? Dexter Vines? Yeah. Dexter Soy? Oh. Soy, Dexter Soy, sorry. Oh, Dexter a Vines is the man. inker. Sorry, my bad. Dexter Vines is, uh, what's his name's inker? Uh, Do that uh, shit. Uh, All right. Yeah, sorry, my bad. What's his name? Okay. Yeah, I, I forgot what his name was. Dexter Who? Vines. Who's he ink usually? You know. Ed McGinnis. Ed McGinnis and the Civil War guy. Damn, I, I, I am getting the alcohol in my brain. <laughs> Mark Miller? Mark, no, not Mark Miller, <laughs> asshole, the artist. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what the hell's his name, guys? Steve McNiven? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Carry on. And then I finished it up with two issues of Superwoman. I reread volume one so I can understand what was going on in volume two. And I, there was probably, I think it got canceled this issue 18, so one more trade coming out. I like Superwoman a lot. I don't know why it got canceled. I guess it just didn't sell very well. But um, I thought it was solid. I thought the writing was solid. I think the art was solid. The whole thing was fun. So yeah, I rebirthed the heck out of it this week, except for Thanos. <clears throat> I think for my last so, yeah. order of the year, I'm going to do a bunch of – finish out all my new 52 trades so I can go ahead and have them all. Mm. All, the, all the ones I'm missing, rather. John Wilson, thank you. It was McNiven. I was a little late in the reading. <laughs> I told you that a long time ago. Yeah, I know, but you were, like, messing with my head, which is not cool. <laughs> so you didn't read anything. but. <laughs> Jess read like the entire DC catalog by himself. <laughs> what? Why are we on the show, Gabe? It's like this is the fucking Jess Omni Dog show. Yeah, I, I'm gonna kick you guys off right now. Get no some guys that actually read books. I'm a great I, mean, I did read. I just told you guys what I read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we just got the DC. You you want to look over the solicitations for this this week, right? And it's not much. Sure. And then we can look over the DC stuff that's coming out, which was just put up this today. We can all get excited together about things that are coming. Woohoo! Okay, so Gabe, you're going to hook us up with previews? 
Yeah, I'm yeah. bringing it up right now. Yeah, Gabe's got that. Oh, Jimmy <laughs> Owens with a dagger to my heart. I don't like Suicide Squad or Harley Quinn Rebirth. Oh. You need to stop watching this show immediately. Oh, I, I, Jim, Jim, Jimmy, I don't like Suicide Squad either. It's Please. pretty bad. Yeah. It's because Killer Croc is black, right? No, <laughs> it's because it's really not that good of writing. Uh, uh, I just I I own the stupid freaking hardcover because I love Jim Lee's artwork. Uh, we could get some love for Batman Metal, except I haven't read any of it because it doesn't get collected until next summer. So oh, I don't know anything so, about it. So have you read Doomsday Clock? Have either of you read Doomsday Clock? No, yeah. I haven't. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, that, never mind. Yeah. I read issue one. And I read some of Metal. Metal is kicking. And Doomsday Clock was interesting. Uh, like part of like, you know, I don't know. It's weird. Like part of me is like, yeah, it's awesome. Watchmen are now part of the DC universe. Yeah. And then part of me is like, why? <laughs> part of me is like Alan Moore. Leave my fucking characters alone. You assholes. <laughs> but it, it's pretty interesting. I, I, I kind of dug it and it's got Gary Frank on Wait, artwork. Were you complaining about star Wars right there? No, we're not talking oh. about Star Wars today. We can. I thought you were with the whole ruining your your characters and stuff. I, I, that's not me, man. That's like half the internet. <laughs> are you going to pull up the solicitations, or are you just going to sit there and look at your screen? I feel like you were just like zoning out. <laughs> We lose Kate. <laughs> there he is. Okay. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's see what the uh, previews has for this week as they throw all these items into uh, trucks that go across the country and they arrive at your local comic book store covered in dog shit. So, hey, Omar, can I ask you, what's your wife's name? Uh, Melanie. Ah, she just subscribed to Omni Bros. Oh, oh, did she? Oh, oh shit! Oh. She better not be watching. <laughs> oh, oh, he has a second account. He has a second account. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch what you say. <laughs> I know. I love, I love my wife. I don't have any smut in my house. That's just, well. <laughs> <laughs> I know about the second family he has in, in New Mexico. <laughs> All right, let's do it, man. Wait, somebody was asked. Cleveland Brown. It was okay, as far as Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife's in the chat now. Oh my gosh, she is! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Hi, Omar's wife. Hi. Hey, Omar's wife. <laughs> maybe, maybe, it's your, maybe it's your kids watching us, too. That would be messed up. Well, I'm going <laughs> Yeah, no, don't rewind back about ten minutes when these guys are talking about all the smut that we porn and, <laughs> and porn buddies and, and touching penises. Right. And stuff. <laughs> oh, this is too good! <laughs> all right, guys, I'm losing my signal here. My connection's really weak. So. Uh, <coughs> oh, static! Oh, oh, sorry, gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Going through a tunnel right now. <laughs> All right, let, let's kick off the solicits. That's what people want to see. So what, what do we got? Uh, we have... Ooh, Black, Black Hammer. Hammer. Yeah, Black Hammer. It sounds like a porn star name. <laughs> Crickets. Uh, I appreciated that. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> okay. That's my kind of humor, man. I like that. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Oh, yeah, to get, to get the Jess has to be jokes about the, the Rat Pack. For him <laughs> the Rat Pack. That's not Sammy Davis. <laughs> <laughs> he only had one eye. Yeah. Adam Sandler taught me that. I see Green Lanterns. Oh, okay. So let's go. Uh, Batgirl, Bronze Age, nobody cares. 
Um, I'm kidding. I'm sure Jess cares. No, Jess doesn't like Browns Age. That's right. I don't. Yeah, so fuck that one. Uh, Batman, Joker, jo- fuck that one too. Joker's daughter's bullshit. Ugh. And then we got a uh, Detective Comics, uh, Deus Ex Machina. Wait, is this written by Brian K. Vaughn? No. Really? It's Rebirth. Well, that's just a, it's just a Rebirth. That's yeah. just the name of the arc. No, but it's Ex Machina. Okay, move. Oh, you were making a joke. Wow, that was really. <laughs> that was a stretch, man. No, that stretch is right here on a uh, Joker's daughter's face. It's like my nutsack. All right, I wasn't expecting to hear that. That her face looks like your nutsack. All right, what do we got? Are we on like the second book? You... His wife, hi. <laughs> um, yeah. So then we got uh, Green Lanterns. Um, Omar's favorite uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> All right, this is just the Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. No. I think Jess liked that book. I, I remember watching a review of him, or he reviewed a video of that book. I, I did like Justice League versus Suicide Squad. I thought it was good. I didn't like... I, you know what? I I don't particularly care for Suicide Squad Rebirth, and I've heard bad things about Justice League, but I like Justice League versus Suicide Squad. Why would you fight a Suicide Squad? They're suicide. They're just going to kill themselves anyway. Just leave them alone let them die. It's a good argument. <laughs> Boom. All right, man, get to the good stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, I, have to go, I might have to go in the future a couple of weeks for that. <laughs> All right, and then we got New Teen Titans Volume 8. That's 20 bucks. Uh, Scooby-Doo Team Up with Harley Quinn on the cover. So that means uh, Jess has to buy it. Mm. And Stephen Brown has to hate it. <laughs> Uh, Superman, Batman, Volume Six, uh, Teen Titans, Silver Age, or I'm sorry, Teen Titans, uh, Omni Dog Age, Volume One, Silverback Daddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so creepy right now. <laughs> Tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Wonder Woman, the true Amazon. I feel like I own that book. And read. I probably owned it in hardcover. And read it many years ago, so it must be a reprint of something older. I feel like the real Amazon uh, is Alexa. My mom's from the Amazon. Um, I'm gonna leave that alone. Well, she really is. She's from the Amazon jungle. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, IDW, as you get away from Omar's mom discussion. Is your mom watching this too right now? No. Okay. <laughs> no Wi-Fi over there in the jungle, huh? She's she's in America now. Oh, okay. You going to talk about IDW or Image, or are you going to skip on to Marvel? Uh, no, because it's My Little Pony, and that's awesome. Right here. My My daughter reads that, so I can't say anything. You should probably get your daughter a uh, Judge Dredd classic Dark Judges, too. Moving on. Uh, Image Comics has Deadly Class Volume 6. Fuck, there's that many issues out already? For, for like six volumes of trades? Wait, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just just astounded that you're still going on about this. Yeah, but we need to highlight something that Melanie creepy is Omar saying "Natty Light" while looking at a cheerleader <laughs> at a Halloween party, and I heard "Daddy Like." I, I why do you have to share that story? That's such a <laughs> wait. That's not a Ooh, wait, Daddy that's not Like. Terrible. <laughs> but it was. It was let me explain myself. We were at a Halloween party. That sounds like the plot to the movie Taken. <laughs> and she was standing, my wife was standing next to me in a group of 
girls dressed up as cheerleaders came in and they were holding Natty Light. So I said, oh, Natty Light. And my wife thought I said, oh, Daddy Like. And I'm like, when in the hell have you ever known me to refer to myself as Daddy? That's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> this is the best. I, we need to make Melanie up and Omni Bro and have her on the show. No, we do not. <laughs> <laughs> we should just do an all wives episode. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. And not just us. We'll just have just a wives like hit record and we'll just leave them alone and see what happens. Shit. All we gotta do is get our in stock trade orders and look at how much we spend. <laughs> My wife doesn't see that anymore because I buy books at my store and throw away the receipt. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mentioned the store. Now everybody's got to take a drink. Um, <laughs> what are we talking about? Comic books. Yeah, What's the Marvel? Marvel. We're talking about your wife. Nope. Moving on. Okay. Um, Girl Scout cookies. No, wait. Girl Scouts magic socks. That's like a tongue twister. Uh, Marvel, we have, um, from this, judging from this cover, uh, Bullshit Darkhawk. Uh, Deadpool, Ultimate Deadpool. Um, Bullshit Kate Bishop, Hawkeye. <clears throat> She's great. Invincible Iron Man, or is this Iron Woman? Is this, is this What's Her Face? Uh oh, somebody busted. <laughs> you have an instant trade by, right now by the door. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. Got to get the last haul in before the end of the year. <laughs> don't, don't look in there. Those are presents for you. Second account. Second account. <laughs> uh, and then we got Monsters Unleashed. Uh, Runaways, which is uh, a very good show. Oh, I'm lying. I did read. I read a, a few more issues of Runaways. It, it gets better in the second arc. Yeah, I think that's what I said, wasn't it? Like, uh, once I you don't get know. past the Okay. My bad. I thought you'd listen to me every once in a while. Moving on. Uh, made the Spider-Man brand yeah. new complete collection. We need more of those. People need to read those. Are good. I, I really like the brand new day stuff. Is that a Nick Bradshaw cover? No, it's not. The bullshit cover. It's like Phil, right. Phil Jimenez. Oh, cool. Uh, George Perez called and said he wants his style back. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, I just totally saw Gwenpool. Oh yeah, there's Gwenpool. There's uh, terribly awesome Hulk. No, right, totally awesome Hulk. Uh, Daniel Way, Wolverine. Dude, you're on a roll, hating on books tonight. Name me twelve books that came out that are, that are good this month. Or Did you say twelve books? Yeah, twelve. I don't even know if there's wow. twelve books coming out, dude. Exactly. That's why I'm hating on all of them because nothing good is coming out this week. Gwenpool is great. Yeah, according to Jest, Gwenpool's really good, but he also liked Justice League versus Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> but he also likes Napoleon Dynamite. And he, read, records, and he read Minara. <laughs> uh, softcore porn statues. And not Rip Peeps or Hey, and Deadly Class is coming out. Uh, you, you don't like Deadly Class? I know uh, Jest does. Yeah. Uh, Love that book. I haven't read it. Oh, it's dude, it's awesome. It's like some of the best Remender stuff, I think. I have the really big pink hardcover. Okay, that's that's okay. All right, uh, and then after that, this is all just smut for Omar. <laughs> it's absolute <laughs> dildo. All right, duo. Same thing. Not, not, all, not all manga is smut, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's your attack on Titan. You saw that? that smut. Show. That was torture porn smut. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, double sided dildo, absolute graphic novel, um, anonymous virgin. Another hey, go, go down there. Manga. Is, that, is that the Ghost in the Shell box set? Scroll down. That's a uh, Blood Bowl. Mm. 
This one here definitely is underage porn. <laughs> that's clamp, yeah. man. Card capture score. Hey, that's pretty yeah, cool. Third card is there anything like a green card for underage sex offenders? The Ghost in the Shell box set's coming out. I may have to pick that up next year. That's all three hardcovers, like one, one point five, and Ghost in the Shell two. Melanie's with me on liking Napoleon Dynamite. I yeah, know yeah. Melanie. Yeah, baby. She showed that to her classroom. She loves that movie. I do too. I do too. Yeah. So yeah, more, more uh, here's uh, whatever this is that definitely looks like uh, a sex offender. Thank sex you, offender S- book right Thank here. you, Sakura, darling. Card capture Sakura is awesome. Gabe's just a hater. Hey, if you love different colored dildos in your in your comics, and you know you win. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever, man. No, this is why nobody takes you seriously when you're like, "Heroes Return" is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> or, or when you're like, everybody should buy Absolute Wildcats because the story is amazing. Okay, Avengers Crossing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Avengers <laughs> Crossing is awesome. <laughs> Wait till I disassemble your Avengers disassemble read a thon thing. No, this is number five. No, this nice. is symbol number five. Thank you, Cleveland Brown. I mean, Heroes Reborn. Heroes Return was the better read. All right, what what else we got? Is that it? Is that all that's coming out? I don't know, man. This is like a never-ending list of underage child sex comics. <laughs> because you're not scrolling down, asshat. <laughs> street fighter oh dark stalkers i like that stuff right that's like a poor man's street fighter oh we're gonna click on that that's not hardcover that's the trade paperback i'm waiting for the oh, hardcover bullshit fast fuck you you disappoint me udon and your they hot ass dark stalker the, women. multiple releases of their shit Hey, man, you know, brothers need to check. That's what you told me about Fabian Isieza. He does. Uh, yeah, there's some more underage sex. Here's some uh, underage animal sex. And Z Nation, everybody. All right. Well, that was a good look at things coming out next week. <laughs> How many of these are you going to get, Omar? I... Yeah, because they're all shit. I'm probably going to get the Ghost in the Shell, and I'll and I'll end up picking up. Uh, there's another Marvel trade in there too. Uh, uh, believe it or not, believe it or not, I hate Daniel Way's run on Wolverine, but I'm I'm a big Steve Dillon fan, so I'll probably I'll be picking that up. And as far as manga, just the Ghost in the Shell. That's it. And the card capture Sakura. <laughs> just all the uh, the smut porn you gotta get off of your black server internet sites. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be my porn buddy, asshat. <laughs> we had an agreement. <laughs> now I'm back. All right. Uh, so do you guys want to take questions? Sure. <laughs> I can't you wait. gotta read them to me because I don't have to chat up. What do you mean? It's it's like a click of a button, Gabe. Can you just turn that off? <laughs> Soldier spam filter. Why don't you turn that off? <laughs> it's the dark internet. All right. You guys want to take questions or look at the solicitations for DC? What do you want? What do you guys want to do? Oh, what do you think? Which one's more interesting? Uh, probably not the solicits because what Omar said the only thing good was coming out of that was DC's. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I said the thing that stands out that I had not heard of was absolute. Ju- uh, uh, killing joke. Uh, That's killing joke. Ah, yeah. to it. Thank you for You're drunk. my brain. Thanks. Uh, absolute killing joke. Fifty bucks. Coming out. But was uh, how much was year one? Was that still like a hundred dollars? Uh, yeah, year one was a hundred bucks. Suckers. 
Spoiler alert, that's my uh, pick for worst release of the year. <laughs> really? Well, I'm sure the hell ain't going to say uh, uh, Dark Knight. This Dark shows Nightfall. that uh, Deathstroke's still written by Christopher Priest, uh, Omar. Into issue 29, uh, anyway. Into March. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for uh, a new take on Justice League because it's been really bad. All right, so people are asking questions. Uh, Jay Lewis, my favorite uh, gay porn dildo infused Japanese manga. <laughs> All of them. I hate you. Uh, <laughs> would have to be. Spoiler alert. It's all uh, of them. None, because I've never read any of like that. I don't even like hentai. I knew I shouldn't have brought up the Minara stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't like hentai. Just because your, your wife's on the line. It's cool. Oh, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> She's embarrassed uh, as well. How long before Omar goes to Vegas and kills Gabe? February. I already answered that question. <laughs> when does uh, bring, Killing bring Joe come out? You better pack a lunch. Killing Joe comes out when I don't know. The solicits are just came up, so uh, I saw, 1985 wasn't it? That was a horrible, horrible Marvel miniseries. Nobody needs to read that. Um, it, I, I assume it'll be out either March oh, or April. I'm scrolling through it right now. <laughs> Biggie Cheese is asking what our thoughts on Last Jedi are. Oh my god. Did we already talked about that for half an hour. Don't don't put a quarter into Omar on that one. <laughs> and definitely don't don't pull his uh don't pull his handle either. <laughs> when I watch hentai, I know I've gone too far <laughs> and feel sad. Absolute Batman the Killing Joke is on sale in September of next year. Ooh. Thank you, Tolga. Manga is not hentai. In Cleveland Brown. My wife can actually answer that for you. I still will not let her read my absolute uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> I had to let her borrow a trade. Oh, dude, did you guys see that Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, poster from Alex Ross? Yeah. Chat earlier? It's awesome. If anybody wants to uh, give me a, a Christmas gift. <laughs> Do you let your wife read your absolutes? That's a good question. Apparently, I don't. So, do you guys let your wives read your absolutes? Or She's allowed you? to read the absolute uh, cookbook. <laughs> I laughed way too hard at that. That's not funny. That's not funny. Fire <laughs> <laughs> alert, Omar's wife. You're getting the absolute how to iron his clothes book. <laughs> Stop, asshole. <laughs> Oh man, what about what about you, Jess? If your wife was into comic books, would you let her read your absolute and omnibus editions? Uh, if she was into them, which she is not, um, it would probably depend on the rarity of them. If it was something like Absolute Watchmen, yeah. If it was Absolute Promethea number one, probably not. I'd get her the trades to read of that, just because it's so rare. Um, but I would be thrilled that she would want to read an absolute of anything. Oh, that, you're such a good man. You're such a good man. Well, <laughs> you're so lucky to have a wife that wanted to read Klaus. And I'm not saying that because she's on the on the chat with us. I mean, I genuinely believe that <laughs> they, she wants to read a comic book with you. I just don't – I can't even tell you how lucky you are. My wife is not into it at all. Uh oh, she can hear me say it. I just, <laughs> heard on the, I just heard a pounding on the ceiling. I'm talking too loud. <laughs> Damn, you look a little like Jewish lady that lives in like the stairs below you, like in a tenement. Wow. I'm in the basement. Oh yeah, like Jess has a huge house, man. He in unintentionally gave me a tour of his house when I came into the chat way too early. <laughs> I told my daughter, "Hey, be careful. The camera's live, so be careful what you do here." <laughs> Um, all right, that sounded like, that, sound like that was gonna be a wait. Never mind. Sorry, I'm not gonna say that. Let's see. What Doctor Doom comics do you recommend besides the infamous Iron Man? Uh, oh. How about the Book of Dooms by Brubacher? Did you guys dig that? Yeah, that's probably one of I my favorite ones. Stupid hard to find. 
I also like the what was the one with the uh, Doctor Strange where Doctor Strange goes down and like fights. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Doctor Doom is like trying to get the soul of his mother back. It was a it was a graphic Doctor novel. Doctor Doom Triumph and Torment. That's it. Yeah, I knew you would know. That's a great story. Me. I love that book. Yeah, that's a good one. Jess, Those are probably the only two Doctor Doom books I've read. Oh, I really, really liked uh, Mark Waite's take on Doctor Doom, though. I, I oh. recommend uh, 100% everything Doom 2099. Because, spoilers, that's still Doom, though, isn't it? He just Spoiler alert! Out- <laughs> yeah, it's still Doom. <laughs> it's like he figured out a way to time travel. So he's the only character in the 2099 universe that's still Victor Von Doom. Everybody else is like has a new persona, like uh, you know, Spider Man's Miguel and all that, but Spider-Man's it's like actually Hispanic, and nobody had a problem with that. Some people did because it only lasted thirty nine issues. But he's back. But is he really? <laughs> Latinos can't carry a ongoing comic anyway, man. Look at Blue Beetle. And- oh, they're gonna say they're gonna carry a baby. Oh no, hell no, they can carry babies. <laughs> uh, this show just got racist. Um, uh, <laughs> Welcome to Omni Bros Live, everybody. Where we ask the tough questions. <laughs> Why do Mexicans smell different than Puerto Ricans? They use a different. Uh, no, I'm not going to go there. Never mind. Different kind of lard for their beans. <laughs> Stop being racist. Your daughter just finished class as well there, Omar. Oh, I'm so proud of her. She's I just think so. She's such a smart eight year old. She's way smarter than I was at her age. Now she can go read some Daniel Klaus. Who's that? What is that? Daniel Klaus? He's yeah. a cartoonist who does like eight ball magazine and stuff oh, like that. Oh, okay. Hey, hey B- Biggie Cheese just asked the question that you answered earlier. Is Red Hood Rebirth good? This book rules. Yes, it is. It it's is Omni fantastic. Dog approved. It is Omni Dog approved. I would go so far as to almost guarantee it. It is so fun, so interesting, so well done. Snappy dialogue, great chemistry between the characters uh, that you wouldn't expect, and uh, it's just really imaginative and super interesting. So yeah, I dug Red Hood and the Outlaws. Rebirth, not New 52, but Rebirth. If you don't like it, Jess will buy your copy back from you. (laughs) <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> That's what the seal of Omni Dog Improvement is. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was another question. I thought that was another question. I want to know why we don't have two more people subscribe to us so that we can have 666 subscribers. The sign of the beast, man. You're Latino. You should know better than that. That's bad luck. I'm not afraid of El Cucuy anymore. <laughs> All right, There's well, a good question for you, Omar. What's that? Is Uncle Scrooge by Don Rosa worth getting? Absolutely, it is, Jesse. Say what? It is brilliant. It's probably one of my favorite comic books of all time. Um, and I live in the same state as Don Rosa too. He's a, he's a he's a character. My wife and I ran into him at a. We have a really good story actually about me recognizing the back of his head. That was kind of hard to explain to him when I ran into him. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. Uh, it starts off like retelling some of his old stuff, but by the time you get into like volume half halfway through volume one, it is amazing and by the time you get into the life and times of scrooge mcduck you are in love with the character and you just want to keep reading more adventures of him it's very awesome i love it it doesn't get 
I don't know. Oh, I remember, for volume eight. Seven and eight. The box set of seven and eight should be out in January. It was postponed. It's going to get pushed back even more. Is it really? Dude, we, we haven't had a box set this year, so it, it can't be pushed back uh -oh. that much. Um, so, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Yeah, my, my wife's read it, too. That book has made me laugh and cry. Oh, I love that. I love that book. And, yes, Jimmy Owens, I, I do stalk him. Uh, I wish he was my great uncle. <laughs> Don Rosa, that is. Uh... I have not read the Hedge Knight graphic novel series, Blood Raven. That's the kind of like uh, the, not, I don't want to say spinoff of Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire, but it's the, it takes place in the same universe. The X-Men Revolution omnibus, J-Rocks, is it's the, it's when Chris Claremont comes back the second time to writing X Men, but it oh, when the uh, movies were coming out, right? Yeah, around the year two thousand and so. But I think uh, Peter M, uh, one of the guys on the boards, and us and myself, we we are totally hating on the collection because it's not collecting. Like, why not take it all the way until Grant Morrison's run? That makes absolutely no sense. If they had just included um, Eve of Destruction and the uh, spoilers here, but Funeral for Colossus, that little storyline in there, it would have been perfect. Along with uh, uh, X-Men Forever, the little miniseries by Fabian Isiesa. But yeah, but for some reason they leave out all these things. I guess making it a freaking uh, Claremont-centric book. It's all about DuckTales and Darkwing Duck. Don Rosa wrote an episode of uh, DuckTales. My wife's answering questions. Hey, this is my show. What are you doing? <laughs> He's rocking the answers there. Yeah, English major for you. I just love writing. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. I had somebody else had a question about some manga. Uh, Sakura Darling. What other shoujo clamp manga do you read? As far as clamp, I've read just about everything they've done. Uh, Holic and. Uh, Oh God, my favorite one's of course Magic Night Rear. That that will always be my personal favorite clamp manga. Then there's Chobits and Angels Lair. Um and X. X I wish they would go back and finish. Otherwise I would highly recommend it. It's a wonderful story about the end of times and the seven dragons of the heavens, seven dragons of the earth fighting for Earth. But anyway, it's great. Love it. I just wish they would go back and finish it. I have not checked the amulet. I, I wanted to get it for my little girl, but I haven't got it yet. Because I really like that guy's uh, flight stories. He, uh, do you guys Have you guys read Flight? The collection of uh, like mini stories and stuff? I think it was... Was it Del Rey that published them? There were eight volumes. Gabe? Jess? Anybody? Manga? No. <laughs> No, no, no. It was like an anthology, and it was just any comic book creator can put a story in there. And about oh, eight, no, I don't even know about it. Eight to 16 pages each, sometimes 32. Um, like I said, eight anthologies, eight collected uh, trade paperback. Oh, they were great, man. And oh, flight? Flight. Hmm. And they all have something to do with, like, <clears throat> fly, flying or the ability to fly, but... You know, people take their own artistic take into it. It's really cool. I love that series. Um, hmm, okay. <laughs> yes, and Subasa is great. Gabe, did you just answer that Operation Zero Tolerance is great? You're you're on mute, buddy. You're on mute. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was answering questions in the chat. 
<laughs> I kind of figured I was like, why is he taking it to the chat instead of answering here? I, you just right. Well, I was on mute. Oper Operation Zero, Zero Tolerance is awesome. Wow, it is awesome. Not great, awesome. Really? All right. Yeah, I thought it was all right. Biggie T is Two comic book movies people are expecting to fail. What's going to do worse, Dark Phoenix Saga or Venom? Uh, I had a question about Venom. I read today that there's going to be, and I haven't read this, uh, She Venom? There's a chick Venom? Shenom. Well, there's always Shen been a female Venoms, right? Like, what, what Has the there? Toxin? Uh, uh, separation anxiety, yeah. Yeah, separ thank you. My man, with the 90s knowledge right there. Separation anxiety. I'm good for something on this show. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't sell yourself short. You're good with this shit. You just don't know your fucking manga dildo, whatever the hell you called it earlier. Um, yeah. And I'm proud of that fact. Thank like you. the symbiote spread out past, well. past carnage, and I think it infected like six or seven different people, right, Gabe? One of them was Toxin, I think, right? Hell Toxin is the one I had. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a woman. Yeah, I had uh, her own series not too long ago. Well, it was a long time ago. It was probably about 15 years ago she had a series. Yeah. And uh, I remember Derek Robertson was drawing it because they told him, it's, yeah, it's a book about Toxic, but it's more Spider-Man than Toxic. Because he wanted to draw Spider-Man. Not you know He's a, one of the best artists in the business. He doesn't want to draw bullshit Toxic. So they lied to him and told him it was going to be about Spider-Man. <laughs> and it totally was not. Yeah, I, I yeah. remember that. Game. So, yeah. so, what did you find out, Gabe? It's, uh, oh, wait. What? What did I sell? Uh, no, I was saying, what, what did you find out, Jess? That there's going to be a she venom in the movie? In the movie, yeah. And I just wasn't familiar with that character. I just read that today. Well, that's how they made Carnage. I mean, do I have to tell you how the birds and the bees work? Uh, no. Not for symbiotes, buddy. It's a whole different fucking ball game. Yeah. Oh, did I, you learn that in, so, learn that in one of the books? <laughs> the, book? So the question was, which one's going to suck more? I don't know. Just, nothing's going to suck worse than Justice League. There, I said it. Or at least make not not wait. I'm sorry, it didn't suck, but I mean, nothing's gonna fail as badly in the box office as Justice League. Chris, Chris I think the last time I saw Lady Shiva was in the Batgirl comics by the Cassandra Cain comics. That's the last time I saw Lady Shiva. Yep. I don't. I don't remember her past. Did she ever make it past like any of the big? Final Crisis or Flashpoints? Like we, we didn't see her in New Fifty Two, did we? She died in a Catechism. No, she, dude, that no, she did not. Oh, no, she did not. You're right. You're spreading lies now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the '90s guy. I did you not know that? <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen her since then, so I, I don't know. Yeah, she was in Birds of Prey for a little bit, but that was also during uh, Gail Simone's run, pre-Infinite Crisis. Yeah, I mean, nobody read it, so it didn't count. You guys did not read Birds of Prey? That book's amazing. I Gail read Simone's Birds of Prey, yeah, I liked it a lot. That's great, yeah. Yeah, a Venom movie without Spider-Man is kind of stupid. I agree with that, Steven. I... I I mean, you got to be a real hardcore Venom fan. And honestly, who outside of comic book people? You know, oh, Melanie says she's number 665. So we need one more for your 666, buddy. Oh, nope. maybe I can be it. Have I subscribed yet? Oh, my God, Jess. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm to kick you out, Jess. I'll do it right now. <laughs> I have to sign in to subscribe to this channel, but I'm signed in. Don't signed don't, in don't do it now. You'll kill the you'll kill the show. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that everybody is the just as old and doesn't know technology segment of the show. <laughs> I wasn't gonna sign out. Um. But 
I guess you, you you guys are wanting to talk about Star Wars on Thursday, right? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Hey, what are you munching? Like a good topic. What are you munching on, Gabe? That's a that's a question. Uh, turkey pepperoni. I love turkey pepperoni. He's making a pizza in his mouth. <laughs> I make a lot of things in my mouth. Jess, do you have any... Do you have the Amicom girls? I do not. Not your stuff. What? You don't have the pieces for your pawn collection? <laughs> <laughs> I see it. He's got a buy show, Joe figure, though. He's got that spider Gwen back there. I see that. Oh, right here? Yeah. I know my buy show, Joe figures. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. You know anything buy. No. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, not at all. <laughs> okay, wait. So apparently, wait. Lady Shiva's been in Detective Comics. Rebirth. Shit. I've only read the first uh, hardcover. I think I think they. Her, but I don't know if she, if she was actually in it. Or is that the same well, thing? I don't remember seeing her in it. I read Detective. Right, but I remember them talking about it. So does that count as her being in it, or does that not count because you don't see her? We're talking first appearances here. And that's very important. I don't. I don't know. We're talking uh, Blood Raven saying that um, she's been in the Detective Comics. So I wonder if that's because I mean the first hardcover only collects the first thirteen or four, fourteen issues. It's been a lot more since then. Wait, 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 wait. It also collects part of Minna Monster. Come on, give it, give it credit. <laughs> Nobody should credit that. Somebody had to get a paycheck. Was it fading? <laughs> no, I don't know. I think, Jess, did you like that storyline? Monster Man? Man that, that's... Uh, it's okay. It was okay. I didn't, I mean, I I bought it so I could read it as one thing. I. It was okay. I don't know that I'd, uh, I don't know. It's probably two out of five root beers. I don't think it was a waste of my money, but I don't think it was worth loaning to a friend. Hmm. I don't know. It, it gets a lot of hate. That's why I was wondering what you... Yeah, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. But those are the issues I kind of skipped. Because I, I, I remember having the Batman um, hardcover first. And I'm like, well, I can't read the rest of this shit, so I guess I might as well skip these two issues. Yeah, I mean, anybody, anybody that buys that book, you can literally just tear those two pages or those two issues out of the book and not lose... Track of the story. Well, yeah, I mean that's the way it was intended. But now I've got them all. I really don't feel the need to go back and read them. I don't feel like I missed anything important. I, I, I probably Jess, will if I do a reread. I think Jeff needs to take his copy of Detective Comics, flip to those two issues, a Monster Man, and pour root beer all over it. <laughs> Just that part of the Detective Comics. Yeah, those pages. <laughs> it's like the first half of Star Wars. You don't need it. <laughs> We're not talking about Star Wars. Is we that... should have all four of us on Thursday to talk about Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. We should have uh, like opposing ends because I know at least two of us liked it and two of us, well, one of us thought it was okay. I, I, I don't know how the other one feels. I may have to see it again so I can have a real opinion. A real opinion? Yeah, I mean, I I still have sort of this uh, fanboy haze falling over me right now after having seen it in IMAX, reserved seat, you know, lounge chair theater today with my daughter. I treated us both to, like, the best theater experience, and it was, it was great. So, I mean, the experience was great, but I am a fanboy of Star Wars, so it's hard for me. I mean... I hated those uh, prequels, but you, I, wow. I've liked them. Yeah, I've never heard you use that word to describe someone. Wow, hate so the prequels? I hated them. <laughs> yeah, I did hate one, two, and three. Really? Yeah, <laughs> but let me, let me. I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there because I was listening <laughs> to the show last week, and you guys were talking about X Men, and Jess said, "Yeah, I'm one of the few guys that likes X Men movies. I like three. 
And in my head, I'm blown up. I'm like, Ooh, what? Jess, you can't like three. That movie sucked. Last Stand. Oh, man. But but you you said that one, you didn't particularly like one, but you liked two and three. And okay. you got Rick Collins. You don't count anymore. You can calm down. Uh, I didn't forget. <laughs> I can't Don't even get remember. Me started that. on X Men Three, man. That movie. I can't even sucked. remember the plot now. What was it? It's last, all about a Brent Ratner sending her ass and all the women on set. That's what X Men Three is about. What was Last Stand about, Omar? Oh my God, I've seen it only one time. I re- let me tell you something, dude. A friend of mine bought me the Blu-ray collection of X Men, like the movies. I took that shit back and bought one and two on Blu-ray because I hate three that much. Gosh, like, I it will not I, be part of my collection. I don't remember hating it that much. Hey, Omar, I need your, I need your address. I can send you 50,000 copies of that movie to your front door. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that you heard of the group, everything is terrible? Dude, that movie is so horrible. Oh, I, I, that's, that's the one time I disagree with Jess. Like, strongly disagree. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, we can't have it. Yes, Stephen Reyes, Last Stand is literally AIDS. <laughs> yes, I agree. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I'll have to watch it again. I don't remember no, hating well, it. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> watch don't do that. watch it next don't. time it comes on TV so you can give it ratings. <laughs> don't do that to a love. Dude, I almost I almost broke down and said the same thing to him. Like, you know, man, I need to give this movie another shot. About a couple of years ago, I got really sick, and I, that's what I do. I binge watch movies, and I put it on. And as soon as, as soon as it came on, I'm like, nah. <laughs> I turn that shit <laughs> off. I'm like, nope, not playing that game again. I remember this. I, uh, I, uh, anyway, but yeah, um, hate oh, man. PDS we going on right there, brother. <laughs> I've, just, I've never, I've never heard Jess use the word hate to describe something. <laughs> I don't the- like using that word. I don't, I don't take it lightly. I hate Nazis, <laughs> and I, I hate Star Wars Episode One, Two, and Three. I hate croutons in my salad. I definitely, yeah, no, I hated it. Yeah, I hated those three. I mean, did not hate, did not hate. Uh... Okay, well, uh, let's see. I think Detective Hardcover. We have a, an issue in the chat with Blood Red and yelling at, at us. Um, the hardcover is always read for detective. It goes 934 to 949. So if um, if Lady yeah, Shiv is on the cover, then we wouldn't know. Yeah, I can't read it. Wait, why are we why are we reading back? I don't know why. I think uh, somebody's got their sound. My sound's always on. Tolga, I do not yeah, like the Fantastic Four movies. That's Gabe. Gabe. Yeah, the first one was great. Uh, I fell asleep through the first one in the movie theater. The first one never went to movie theaters. The first Fantastic Four? Oh, are you talking about the Corman movie? Yeah, that one's great. Uh, yeah. That's the best Dr. Doom we've ever gotten was in that movie. How can you hate croutons on your salad? Croutons are delicious. Thank you. That's a good the of the, of food. He's a monster. <laughs> a monster. Oh, look at this, this yummy, nice, crispy salad. Oh, great. Oh, there's a fucking rock in here. Shit. That's what croutons are. All right. So she apparently, Lady Shiva, thank you, Cleveland Brown, appears in the flesh at the end of Detective Comics 950, observing Cassandra Kane from the rooftop. Well, not in the hardcover. Can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, I, I don't know I, anything I, about it. It doesn't exist yet until it's in hardcover. I know right. these fucking <laughs> trade waiters. We we <laughs> suck. We're so behind. We're complaining about shit you guys were complaining about two years ago. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> then they can complain about buying an out of print omnibus for five hundred bucks, and then the next week it gets announced that it's being reprinted. I was gonna tell you, man, that Silver Surfer's been reprinted for fifty bucks. Comes out next month. <laughs> I'll immediately put that thing on eBay for two hundred bucks and get it. With a variant cover by Jim Lee. <laughs> um, I want a variant uh, by Joe Kelly. That looks like the Nightfall on the bus. That's right. 
So Karen Gillian's Star Wars is where I'd start too, as far as Star Wars comics, because they're they're canon now, aren't they? Like that's part of the extended universe, isn't that what the whole Disney deal is? Yeah, as far as I know, they are. Yeah, man, that Vader down story so awesome. It's great. I love that Darth I really, Vader storyline. And you know, you can almost for sure say that there will be a Star Wars Jason Aaron omnibus. I mean, there's there's no way they're not gonna do one. They did a Darth Vader omnibus. You guys talked about that, yeah. So. They need to give us a uh, Jason Aaron and Silver on the bus. Oh yeah, you know we're gonna get those, man. Marvel loves their money, and they love their—they know their fanboys. They know what they'll buy. Well, I, I was gonna end the um, suggest we end it, but uh, your wife is answering uh, questions, so <laughs> I don't want to cut her off. Ah, uh, she just loves talking. That's fine. <laughs> Our amulet. I'm definitely gonna have to check that one out. Disney dumped all Star Wars besides movies, cartoons, and comics after 2014. Yes. No. Wait, Jimmy. You mean like anything that came before? She says she's done. Um, before 2014, right? Isn't that? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so Last Jedi. All the uh, Dark Horse stuff over again. Man, I don't think they will. I don't think they'll do the like. I really liked what's his name's run. Uh, Brian Woods was it Brian Wood? Yeah, Brian Woods run. I thought he did a really good job. But I, I seriously doubt we'll see that. We're getting a lot of the older stuff too. A lot of good stuff reprinted. From oh yeah, him. have you read Doctor Afra? Yes, the, the mini series. Yeah, that's that's awesome too. Is that by Karen Gillan? I don't think so. I think somebody else wrote that. Mm. He's a great it. character. Yes, and I was, you know, well, never mind. We can't talk about Star Wars yet. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you know, I may have to go see it again. Yeah, you should. It is Gillen. Oh, it really? is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll collect these things. Kieran Gillen is uh, John Wilson's favorite creator, right? Right. <laughs> I think John Wilson's checked yeah. out. That's that's who's been missing, John P. I ain't heard shit from him. He just stepped in to talk about Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hurt my feelings. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, we can wrap this up as the chat devolves into... Um, Name calling. So, Omar, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on my YouTube channel. It's uh, Near Me Condition. We put on a show every Thursday. So join us before you watch Omni Bros. That would be great. And you talk about all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, we do. We don't uh, – we talk, uh, talk about anime. Uh, anime. Uh, Near Me Condition. We put on a show. I feel like Gabe Ooh. is watching – the show as he's recording, but he doesn't. He forgot. He fucking forgot that he's recording the show. No, I know things happen. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's where you guys can find me. Thank you, and thank you to pe the, everyone that sub too, and thank you for watching this show. I love. We love doing this. We're still not at six sixty five. I'm disappointed in everybody. You're so hard on people, man. Well, I'd like to take this uh, time to thank Melanie for uh, subscribing and watching the show and talking in the chat. I think it's a great idea to have our wives do a show. I think that's horrible. <laughs> Are you guys kidding me? My wife yes, we're kidding you. Shit. Gabe, where can they find you? <laughs> uh, I'm on YouTube as well. Hey, where can they find you, buddy? Hey, man, it's my turn to talk. <laughs> so, yeah, YouTube, Gabe Infinity Watch. Gabe Infinity Watch on Instagram. Uh, Gabe and Vinny watch on Tinder and Grinder. <laughs> Grinder. And I'm also on the Omnibus Collectors group. And uh, I got Silver Surfer today. That was pretty oh, cool. I think we just got 666. Word. <laughs> Gabe, you looking up while your mouth is on that mic talking about Grinder just 
<laughs> really, really sealed the deal. <laughs> my new profile picture for Grinder. <laughs> now I gotta take the one off of uh, me and you hanging out, Omar. Uh, okay. Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah. And you can find me Omnidog at Omnidog's Vault on YouTube, and also on someday I'm gonna get an Instagram. I still haven't done it. You talk about that. Every uh, time. I know. I just haven't done it yet. I just keep forgetting about it. You're like that grandfather uh, that everybody went to visit in the 80s. And I'm like, one of these days I'm going to program that VCR to have to show the correct time. <laughs> Grandpa, we got you this VCR three years ago. <laughs> have these things called laser disc. <laughs> uh, okay, good. Anything else? Or are we wrapping it up? I think we're wrapping it up. Okay. Oh my for tuning in, everybody. Please uh, like us, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we are going to be giving Star Wars spoilers on Thursday. I'm sure we're going to rip the movie apart and talk about every single thing. So we'll probably keep it, we'll talk like generalized and then we'll give you a warning and then go like right into spoilers yeah that's a good idea right away yeah. anyway so i talking about how darth vader came back <laughs> right <laughs> you mean jar jar mix <laughs> okay everybody good night thanks for tuning in night guys peace and love peace and love <laughs>